Hi to all of my family, Prophetess Nikki here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. To those of you who have been with me from day one, God bless you. I am so eternally grateful for all of your support and whatever capacity that the Holy Spirit has touched your hearts to sow back into this ministry. I appreciate all of you, each and every one of you. Thank you for everything that you do. I am touching and agreeing that the will of God, it will be done and it shall manifest in your life. Whatever God is going to do in your life, he's going to do it quickly. God is going to do it quickly and he's going to do a new thing in your life. You ought to be encouraged about your future. God bless you. I love you. And to those of you who are tuned into our channel, but you are not yet subscribed, I want you to hit that red button to become part of our family. And don't forget hit that notification bell so that you can receive the notifications when we upload new and future videos to keep you healed in your spirit, your soul, and your body. I love all of you. I pray that God's blessings will always be upon you. May he keep you. May he prosper you. And may the favor of God shine upon your very life each and every day. I love you. There's an unseen battle that we all need to be aware of, family of God. People People are now realizing that it wasn't just a streak of bad luck. We have to realize that there is an unseen battle that we are facing, realizing that it was not just a streak of bad luck. They have been living under a generational curse. People are living under a generational curse. And they have not realized it. Some people are realizing it wasn't just a streak of bad love family of God. And how do we break free from a generation of curse? First, without total surrender, we cannot be delivered from a generational curse. But I decree and I declare today in the name of the Lord that you will not fight your mother's devil. You will no longer fight your grandfather, your daddy's demon. In the name of Jesus, your parents, devil will not hunt you. Glory to God and disrupt your future another day in your life family of God how do we destroy these generational curses that have been passed down through the bloodline first we have to trace the curse yes we have to trace the curse back to the source listen people of God this is very important we have to trace this curse the generational curse we have to trace that curse back to the source. Then you have to confess that sin. Whatever that sin is, we have to confess that sin so we can get free and so we can stay free from it. But only through the redemptive work of Christ that you and I are free. Did you know that some people are living under a curse and they are unaware of they are living under a curse? Some people are just equating that the things that they go through in life, the bad things that keep happening to them over and over and over again is just mere bad luck. Some people believe that they were just born on the wrong side of the track. Some people just believe that they were born in the wrong family. Glory to God. No, that is not so. People need to now come to an understanding that it's not just a sheer bad luck. Realize that it wasn't just a street of bad luck that you were going through it. You are living under a generational curse. And if you can't recognize the nature of curses, my God, if you can't recognize the nature of curses, you will not be able to enjoy the blessings and you won't know how to remove the curse. We have to know and recognize what a blessing is and we have to know and we have to recognize what a curse is, family of God. That's why you never see another person's life and want it. Never see anything what other people have and want it. Don't look at a marriage and covet it. Don't look at a person and their prosperity and covet it because you are on the outside looking in my God, Lord have mercy. Understand this family. 
that you are not dealing with anything natural. When you are dealing with curses, we ain't dealing with nothing natural, family of God. We're not. We are not dealing with anything in the natural realm when it comes to curses. Did you know that curses can be transferred through objects that shouldn't be in our life? Objects that shouldn't be in our home? Lord, help us, Holy Spirit. Curses can be transferred even by the words that we open our mouth and speak. In some words, we are bringing curses upon ourselves by default. That's why we have to watch the words that we speak. Because God tells us clearly that death and life is in the power of our tongue. We can speak damnation to ourselves or we can speak blessings to ourselves, family of God. Objects, listen to this, objects. Curses can be transferred through objects. What is in your home? My God, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to cleanse your home of whatever object that's in your home that should not be there and things are in your home that the in enemy has hidden in your home to bring you bad luck. Did you know that people of God? Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to these objects, anything, anything that is in your home, anything that is on your person that has anything to do with the occult, get it out of your home. Your protection is through the word of God. Your protection, glory to God, is through the word of God. Your protection is by the blood of Jesus, the Christ. Your protection has nothing to do with a candle, a sage. The devil is a liar. Get this stuff out of your home so you can prosper, people of God. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. Don't you put your hands in anything that's dirty and anything that is unclean. Don't get involved with anything that is new age. These things can't bring you deliverance. It can't bring you happiness. It can't bring you peace. It can't bring you prosperity. It can't bring you protection. The devil is a liar and I come against those negative paradigms and thoughts and limiting beliefs that the enemy may have entered into your mind in the name of Jesus. Be gone. Be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Your protection is in God through Christ Jesus. This is where your protection is. Are you finding yourself alienated from family? Are you alienated from friends? Are you a castaway in the eyes of people? Are you lacking in strength? Are you lacking in victory, people of God? Do you have a desire to move forward in your life? Is it hard for you to get the victory? And whenever you get the victory, do you lose the victory as quick as you receive it? Are you having any kind of reproductive or health issues in your life? If you are, it is a huge possibility that these are signs that you are living under a curse. So how in the world do we get delivered from the curse? Listen to the voice of God and do what he says. Read Deuteronomy 28. Read it, family of God. This is how we become delivered from the curse. Listen to the voice of God. Hearken unto the voice of God. Listen to the voice of God. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord and do whatever he tells you to do. When he tells you to do it and how he tells you and I to do it. And remember, if we violate these things, God himself will impose a curse upon us that he talks about in Deuteronomy chapter 28. These things gives the enemy legal right to enter and operate in our life. Did you know that? When we don't listen and hearken unto the word of the Lord and do what he tells us to do, we give the enemy permission. We give him a legal right to come into our life and operate in it and tear our life up, family of God. Remove yourself from anything. Any soul ties that's in your life, you release any ungodly, any ungodly soul ties with anyone in your life who keeps willfully sinning. Release yourself from these people because these are dysfunctional relationships and they are going to cause a curse to be upon your life. When you are cursed, you are empowered to fail. When you are blessed, 
You are empowered to prosper. And remember, people of God, to starve the devil. Starve the devil. Don't feed him. Don't keep feeding what's trying to kill you. Starve him. Don't feed it. Whatever is trying to destroy you, don't feed it. Cut the cord, family. Our fight is not against people. You already know it. The fight that we face, it is not against people, nor is it against, is against the trials that we face. It's not. It's against the rules of darkness, of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Glory to God. There's an unseen battle. Now, we must realize that it wasn't just a streak of bad luck. People are living under a generational racial curse. But you're going to have to trace this curse back to the source. You're going to have to confess it so you can get free and stay free from it. And only through the redemptive work of Christ, our Lord and Savior, are we going to be free. God has redeemed us from every curse under the law. And I decree and declare today in the name of the Lord, you will not fight your parents' demon. You will not fight that demon from your generational bloodlines. Glory to God. You will be blessed from the second, third, and fourth generation. You will not be cursed from the second, third, and fourth generation. So listen to the voice of the Lord. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord and do exactly what God tells you to do. Because this is an unseen battle that we face. We have to destroy these generational curses. And we're not being totally surrendered to God. We can't. We have to walk in total surrender. And we must walk in total submission to God. What does that mean to be totally surrendered to God? To be totally in submission to God. That means when your flesh tells you to do something contrary to the word of God, you tell your flesh to be quiet and you tell your flesh no. Anytime, people of God, that your flesh tells you to do something that you know will bring damnation to you, Anytime that you try, that flesh tells you to do something that will not give God glory, you tell the flesh no. This is why God tells us to crucify our flesh daily. Total surrender and total submission is what we have to walk in. If not, we will never be delivered from generational curse. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you. I love you, family of God. We are going to learn, glory to God, what pleases the Father by way of the Holy Spirit on our channel. Because living in this world is not about getting money. It's not about getting your name known. No, we have to live according to God precepts. Line upon line and precepts are upon precepts. God said, first seek the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, how he does things. He said, then he will add these things to you. That means things you're not going to have to ask God for by you putting his kingdom first. By you making God's kingdom a priority, you are a priority to him. He said, call on him and he will show you great and mighty things that you never know. God bless you. I love you so much. We are touching and agreeing with all of you people of God. Know that the best is yet to come for each and every one of you. Keep liking, keep sharing, keep subscribing. Thank you for your super thanks donations, your cash outs, and thank you so much for purchasing the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. If it be the will of the Lord, we are going to talk later. Share this video with somebody that is hurting, that is broken, so that God can get the glory out of their life. I love your family. Until next time, you stay encouraged in the Lord. Bye-bye.